So hello guys welcome back to the channel after a long time and yes now we are going to make few content related to CV's bug bounty and few more so make sure you stay tuned but before going to the video we are having few announcements here and here we are having few new courses master course for those who are into beginner and want to start their journey into bug bounty you guys can definitely take a look at the master course it's gonna be around 50 days with tons of content in it so make sure you pause the video check it out now to those who are not into bug bounty but want to level up their skills in a great amount make sure you go to the elite one because in this one it's completely hands on we have reported almost few bugs every session so make sure to check this one out and level up your journey in the best possible way and now for those into android bug bounty yeah this one is for you definitely it's a recorded one you can watch it at your own pace but and also this one is the recording of a live course so you are gonna get tons of content and make sure you also take a look at this particular part and tip js code review as you guys know how important a course code review would be this is gonna be having a lot of details into him lot of labs lot of resources in it so make sure you pause the video and take a look at the syllabus and I guess uh, that was for it. All the links are said in the description, so make sure to check them out and get your discount. So, hello everyone, welcome back to this computer screen. And now, have a look at this particular issue. But before that, after a long time, we are making the videos continue. And yeah, we are going to start with that particular POC. And many more content is on the way, so make sure you are here for a long time. So, initially, what is that particular CV? The CV 2025-29927 is based upon Next.js. So initially it's kind of not that complicated to figure out. We are trying to bypass authorization part. It is as simple as that if I say in one word option. But initially let me just show you a photo that will help you. So when you try to access any sort of authorization, it's like suppose you are having a application and then you have to authorize to access certain endpoints. So once you authorize then you get the X middleware sub request and then it will be accessible. Correct? But in this particular issue, we just try to add the sub request by ourselves and then the point endpoint will be directly accessible. It works as simple as that. As you can see, here's the example request. Try to access the admin panel, you will get 403. Add this type of external headers and you will be able to access it. Now let's have a look at the POC. So while I was hunting in one of my batches, uh, we have found this particular issue. Here I already posted about it with all the POC and payload. Here is the payload, Next.js data one or X middleware bypass sub request. So let me open the images here. The first one is this, which is having the normal request. We are trying to access endpoint. It gives a redirect and when we are here at the login page. But if we add the same payload I showed you in the post here, this payload, you will be able to see that yes, we are able to access the whole admin panel with 200 okay by only using this thing only and only and that's how simple it can be yeah obviously we have reported it we got a good response for this particular CV of course I'll also share a report template if you want in my github or in my uh, LinkedIn so if you want to just let me know it is as simple as that let me show you a video of the same POC so as you can see I also posted the same video over LinkedIn so make sure you are stay tuned there trying to access the site it says no then I'm gonna add the particular payload here gonna show response in browser and here you can see that I'm able to access everything and this is not the only one we have also tried hunting it over a mass using some nuclear templates so we also had a file of lots of subdomains mo more than 5x subdomains and all these things so we tried to exploit that we found we tried to use the particular nuclear template of it and we were able to get it how to get nuclear template here is it here's a nuclear template i'll also mention a link of this in the description so make sure you guys can also get it middleware bypass it is going to check for the similar things then you guys can manually cross check it all right just use hyphen l hyphen t and then you are good to go so that was for the video thanks for watching all the links i said i will be available in the description so make sure to check all of them out and see you guys in the next video